Here's some of really what we learned from the book in addition to what we've already discussed. A foreign telecom giant possible State Department sanctions for providing technology to Iran and other oppressive regimes. So what did this company do? For the first time ever, they decided to pay Bill Clinton $750,000 for a single speech. The Clintons got their cash. The telecom company escaped all sanctions. Hillary Clinton's State Department approved the transfer of 20 percent of America's uranium holdings to Russia, while nine investors in the deal funneled $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. $145 million. Clinton appointed a top donor to a national security board with top secret access even though he had no national security credentials, although he did make a very large campaign contribution. Hillary Clinton accepted $58,000 in jewelry from the government of Brunei when she was Secretary of State, plus millions more for her foundation. The Sultan of Brunei has pushed oppressive Sharia law, including the punishment by death and stoning if you happen to be gay. The government of Brunei also stands to be one of the biggest beneficiary of Hillary's Trans-Pacific Partnership, which she would absolutely approve if given the chance.